In this exercise, we are going to model a horizontal vessel supported on three different saddles. It has one boot reinforced with one nozzle at the bottom and a nozzle on that nozzle too. There's a hemispheric ahead with this negative stress flange. There's the liquid high level that considers the downline from the boot. There's an inclined nozzle, an offset nozzle, and everything you need to know about doing it in this video. Welcome to the special exercise series. First, let's take a look at the drawing. Remember to take a screenshot if you want to do it on your own. And here is the nozzle table with all the thicknesses, orientations, and designation. Now, let's just do it. Go to the menu File, New. We select pressure vessel and then we click OK. Here we select our starting point or template. The closer it is to our final design, the fastest it will be. Just select the one with the boot. Um, I will show later how to do it if you select one without boot or if you want just to add the boot later. Okay? Now we click on next. It's ASME 2023. We are using PED, requirements for hydro test, local loads method. Okay, okay, we just change the ball type to root area and the zero position to be on top. I always prefer like that way. Then we click on next. The pressure is 0.34 megapascals, 3.5 bar, 148 centigrade. Let's put this as liquid level, then we'll fix it if necessary, and a corrosion allowance of 3 millimeters. Nothing to be done on the load condition side. Nothing here. Now we are going to work in internal diameter. That is going to be 1100. This we are going to fix later. First saddle is located at 230. If we do it wrong, we will, you can of course change it later. And then just define the boot. The diameter is 550. The length is 612 and our location is at one meter. Then we click on next. Nothing to do in the report right now. And the materials will be using the ones by default. So just finish. Now I have my starting point. First thing that I want you to see is that our liquid height is measured from the tangent line of the boot. I just used the liquid level mentioned in the drawing. But just you know that it takes into account the 612 length of the boot. So that's why it's located at the middle of my 1100 internal diameter shell. Right? So now let's divide the shell. We right click, we say split shell, 450, that's the length of the first shell. Then my conical transition is 250. And then I have a length of 570. Just keep it this way right now. This one, we are going to erase it. This one is going to be a hemispheric ahead with a straight flange of minus 70. And yes, I said minus 70. The relative position of welding and tangent lines are the opposite from an elliptical head. In the elliptical head, the tangent line comes first. In the hemispherical head, the welding line comes before the tangent line. As a convention, the first case is positive, while the second one is negative. That's why we are using minus 70 as a straight flange. Let's change the internal diameter of these two parts. So edit, change body properties. We select the hemispheric ahead and the last shell. With this one, the diameter is going to be 850. We say apply and it has just reduced. Now this one is a conical transition aligned at the bottom without knuckles. Great. Now, my saddles are looking kind of weird, 
let's fix this. We double click on the saddles. The first one is as 230. The second one is wrong. The second one is 200, 2724. And it's the one fixed. And then we have a third one. That is going to be 2034. But in this case, since the one fix is at the middle, I need one standard for each one of them. So this one cannot be 01, but 03. It's located on a different diameter than the first one. They cannot share the same dimension. So we click on OK. And for it to be refreshed, we click again, then OK again, and it's OK. Now we have our saddles correctly positioned. Now, before adding nozzles, I would like to stop in the boot. First, if you want to do changes in the boot, you double click. Here you have some options, uh, as the boot is also a shell. And if you click OK, you will see all these properties as a nozzle, as an opening. Okay. For example, the location or even the reinforcement pad that we will treat later. Okay. In the case you forgot to do the boot, you can still add it. Let's just remove the boot. You can see that my liquid high has just gone up. Now you go to menu insert, component, and here we select boot. Now my internal diameter of the boot is 550 and the length 612. We click OK. It's shell material. Well, you can add it as a nozzle neck if it's a pipe. And here you add the location as mentioned before. So to add the elliptic ahead, we click on it. We say insert a copy after selection. And we select elliptic ahead. And that would be it. Let's add the pad, we double click, click OK. And here we input a width of 100 and a thickness of just six. Click OK, and we can see the reinforcement pad in the 3D. Let's go on add the nozzles. Let's add the nozzle in the board. Mono insert nozzle. We are going to call it N1 with an NPS of four inches. It will be located on the board at the extreme, so minus 100. And we will be adding a standard flange. I will use a default material, a rating, and then OK. The material, let's select nozzle neck for the nozzle and a shell material for the pad. Let's just click OK. Now I have it here. Let's put the one that is perpendicular to it, the bonus, as I like to call it. We say nozzle, insert, nozzle. We call it N11. It has two inches. It's located at 100. And location zero. And it will be located on the nozzle and one. Then let's add the flange. Materials. Okay. But orientation, let's just change it. And that's it. We have our nozzle on nozzle. Let's add the manhole at this head. We do insert nozzle. This manhole, we will be adding the flange later. M2, 20, thickness 20 millimeters. Location, let's just put something really big. And an external projection of 92. Let's add the flange. And a material.
and here we have our manhole. Let's add the two eye like nozzles located on the shell here. We go to the menu Insert Nozzle, then which it's a process type, then we tap the name L2A Outlet as designation, two inches diameter. Then the location is 5,200 according to the drawing, 150 according to the table, and since it's looking at us, it's 90 degrees orientation. Let's add the flange now. Edit, welding neck type, two inches, just as the nozzle itself, and the material by default. Now let's add the rest of materials too. Now let's create a clone of this one. We select it from the list of components. Then we go to the menu Edit, Add a Copy. Then we change the tag to L2B and we change the offset just by adding a negative. This is the opposite offset and then we click OK. Now that we have these two, let's create a copy. For, to create V, we select it, menu Edit, Add a Copy just as before. We change the tag to V. There is no designation this time. And the location is 302,000, no offset. Inclination is at the top, so zero, and inclination is 30. Please notice that the inclination is done between the perpendicular one, which is considered to be the zero, and the axis of the nozzle. Then we select OK, and there we have it. Now let's create N4 and N5 based on what we just did. We click on L2 aid, edit, add a copy, just as before. We change the name to N4, not the signation this time. The location is 1972. There is no offset and the orientation is 125. Just click OK. And there it is. Now, based on this one, we create N5. If we select it, add a copy, N5. The location is 3550, and the orientation is 180. And then we just click on OK, and there we have it. Now, let's do the final nozzle, N3. Instead of copying it from another one, since a different diameter, I will just insert a new one. Insert nozzle, process type, and three vapor inlet, four, and a schedule of 120 locations, 3775 millimeters, located on top, no inclination, standard flange, valley neck for material, same thing for the material here, just all of them by default. And there it is, our nozzle 3. So here is our whole vessel with a board, nine nozzles, even one nozzle on nozzle, and a hemispheric head. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.